If your small engine starter spring looks about like that, then keep watching this video. I'll show you how to get it back in the housing coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. Today we're going to be working with this starter spring that goes to a chainsaw. This will actually work on lawnmowers or anything with a pull start on there. It's got this kind of a spring in there. And I'll show you how to wind it back up and put it back in its little housing. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we have our spring, and I've got a board. This is just an old butcher block with a screw in it. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, is the direction that your spring goes in the housing. As you can see, it goes in this way right here. So that means it's going to have to wrap around the screw. <sighs> Damn. Okay the same way like that and what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of the, the other end of the spring and I'm going to catch it in between these fingers on the drill shuck so you have it sticking out a little bit so that you have this space here and it's going to it's going to catch in there between the fingers just like that okay okay it might make it easier at this point before you wind this thing up and you're having to fumble around trying to hold this heavy drill and the spring and the tension and all that is to wrap this wire tie. I've actually got two wire ties here together because mine they weren't long enough. So put that in there first. That way you're not fumbling around with it trying to, uh, to get that on there. So just wind it up with the drill. And don't wind it up all the way tight because you may not be able to get it in your unit. Just make it small enough so that you're pretty sure it's going to fit in the housing. It'll make it easier. That's probably small enough right, right there. So go ahead and... What the hell? All right, go ahead and tighten the wire ties down. Carefully pull your drill out. Okay. Let it do its unwinding. There we go. Now, carefully pull this. There we go. Now, Hopefully that's small enough to go in the housing. Uh-huh, that's better. Alright, usually there's a notch here, and uh, that notch is going to catch right in here. So if this spring got wrapped too tightly around the center, uh, you might have to take some pliers and slowly bend that out so that it's not so tight that this won't fit up in there. But just, yeah, there it goes. That's it, it's in. Put the screw in it. Like I said, this requires a little bit of patience. You might have to try this more than once, so uh, just don't give up after the first or second try if it keeps coming apart on you. It's a pain in the neck is what this is. There we go. It's working. Um, usually these get about six uh, wraps. So, uh, let's see, there's where the string comes through right here. So I'm going to wrap it six times. One, two, three, and 
there's six. There it is. There we go. Working like a champ. All right, guys. That's how you do that. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.